Every year at Seafish, we carry out a survey of the UK fishing fleet. We hear from hundreds and hundreds of fishermen at ports around the country. We interview skippers and vessel owners about fishing costs and major business issues they face day to day. Vessel owners can contribute financial data from their annual accounts. We collect this data later in the year, after annual accounts are finalised. All data is treated as strictly confidential. Participants are never identified in our reports and no individual data is released to other parties. Financial data from accounts form a sample, illustrating the average cost structure of different vessel types. We combine this with official government data on the declared income of the fishing fleet to estimate costs and earnings for every single UK vessel. Yes, every single vessel. There are over 4,500 active vessels in any one year, and we estimate the costs and earnings of each of them. We know that's a lot of numbers to find your way through, but at Seafish Economics, we love to pull out the meaning and bring you the stories behind the data. In 2015, there were around 6,500 UK registered fishing vessels. Around 2,000 of these were not active meaning they didn't go fishing in 2015 and their fishing income was zero, leaving 4,500 vessels that did generate some income from fishing. Around 1,700 of these were considered low activity because their fishing income was less than £10,000 in the calendar year. Two thirds of the active fleet, around 2,800 vessels whose fishing income was greater than £10,000, generated 99% of the UK's total fishing income. In 2015, UK vessels landed just over 700,000 tonnes of seafood. Almost 400,000 tonnes of this was landed at 480 UK fishing ports. Nearly half of UK landings were at Peterhead, Lerwick and Fraserburgh, mostly by the Pelagic Fleet. Other major ports are in the South West, Northern Ireland and the Scottish Highlands. Around 300,000 tonnes, nearly 40% of the seafood caught by UK vessels was landed outside of the UK, mostly at ports in Norway, the Netherlands and Denmark. The UK fishing fleet has a very diverse catch composition, landing 160 different species. However, five species make up just over half of total fishing income. In 2015, Total UK fishing income, sometimes called gross, was £770 million. Fishing vessels can also generate income from other activities, like work with offshore energy companies or tourism. We add this to fishing income to calculate total income, or turnover, so the total income of the UK fishing fleet was £810 million. There are, of course, costs for fishing businesses. And based on the latest available data, Seafish economists have estimated that the UK fleet spent a total of around 200 million on crew, 100 million on fuel, and 30 million on gear. Other costs include bait, insurance, repairs, ice, harbour dues, the list goes on. Total fishing and vessel costs were £650 million. That's about 80% of total income. The remainder is operating profit. So in 2015, the operating profit of the UK fishing fleet was £160 million. We know there's a lot of variation between years and between individual businesses, but on the whole, operating profit has shown an overall positive trend, putting the UK fleet in a good position for the future. Our researchers hear from fishermen all around the country, and we know there are challenges ahead. That's why your numbers are so important. They help us to show the size and shape of the fishing industry and the ways that businesses might be affected by changing management measures. Read key issues to find out more about the stories behind these trends and to see how some vessel owners have overcome business challenges.